The Bernina 790 has the ability to use a twin needle or sometimes called a double needle with a decorative stitch or just for straight stitching. So straight stitching will give you that look where it's just two rows of stitches next to each other. Yes, I am known to always put some little bit of decorative thread if it's meant to be something fun and creative. By the way, this is like a tissue holder. We'll put links below this YouTube video if you wanna learn how to make these. This little guy only takes three seams, by the way. Uh, great for little gifts or maybe thinking ahead for holidays and such. But on our Bernina Stitching Cosmo, online course this was a stitch that I wanted to make sure I included because so many people don't realize you can use your super wide stitches with a twin needle and have an amazing result these stitches are more like your nine millimeter wide stitches all of these are nope those are different this is black and and the green so is this one uh, you don't see it as much with this particular stitch but you do see that that oh there it is uh, but this is so much fun, but I love when I put two colors together. But on this machine, there is something so cool that it actually gives you a virtual look of what a decorative stitch is gonna look like with a twin needle before you even stitch it. So let's talk twin needles. Usually a twin needle package has some numbers on it. This particular one says 2.5 slash 80. The main number is the first one. Usually it's anywhere from like 2.0, 3.0, all the way up. This machine will take up to an 8.0 twin needle. I'll show you the difference if you do use that. A lot of people think of just straight stitching, a hem. If you're looking to duplicate, like what's on my my, my sleeve here. Here, I'll just pull my sleeve in. You know, the double row of stitching that you see on garments? Well, that is done as a cover stitch in the industry, but if you're simulating that on a sewing machine, you are looking for a twin needle, probably a stretch twin needle, and then the bobbin is going to do that back and forth looking part that you see on the back side. So that's what a cover stitch is actually does, but we're going to do it both decoratively and with some straight stitches. I'm going to show you how to thread up this machine correctly for using a twin needle and some tips along the way. So we mentioned that size at the bottom, the width. And the first thing you're going to do before you um, start to play around is look at what size of twin needle you're going to be selecting. And let's just pick, if you're gonna do decorative work, by the way, this cl closer together twin needle, like the 2.0, is going to give you the most bang for your buck when it comes to decorative stitches. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So straight stitch, nice close together, a little indication that we do have that twin needle function on. And then it's also going to make sure that you don't uh, widen something so much that it steps over your foot and breaks. So that will be something we'll uh, also show you. A zigzag, just super easy, side by side. If you were to max this out for stitch width, you'll notice that it will stop just a hair shy of seven millimeters. That's because this machine stitches nine millimeters wide. You said you put a 2.0 twin needle on, which you did, and so it will subtract nine minus two and seven millimeters will be the max that you can go up to. So it won't let you go any further. But look at that fun stitch. Now that's, I mean, fun based on a zigzag, but what about stitch eight? Stitch eight turns into a great decorative stitch. Can you imagine the combination of two different colors of thread that you could have just with that one stitch alone? You could do two variegateds. You could do a high contrast, two solid colors, something that is gonna just make that pop. So again, as you make that wider, it will stop so you don't break that needle. You make it a little bit narrower, but you'd still kind of lose that. Let's keep your eye on that stitch. Let's pretend that we went in and told the machine we were using a 4.0 twin needle. Well, not as fun, and that's because the needles are further apart, and so their movement are more like 
parallel to each other, not as intertwined as we just saw. So more side by side. Think of pairs skating at the Olympics, okay? But I like them when they're all doubled up. And that's how you, to get that, you do need to pick the twin needles that are closer together. 1.6 is very easy to find, 2.0 as well. And as we go around with those stitches and pick, so let's just kind of like poke around because this is how I do it. I, I will just pick a stitch and see if, oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. Look what it does when you see the difference in the doubling. That one alone, oh my gosh, these are just great. So if you're stitching out your ultimate stitch book, if you were to come back with a twin needle and stitch all of these out, oh my gosh, you'd have a, a book twice as big. Uh, we do have a video below this uh, video here in the description of how to stitch out the ultimate stitch book. Give you some great tips along the way. Look at these, aren't you impressed? Your machine will do all these cool stitches. Now there are gonna be times where as you pick a decorative stitch in a group, um, like some of the ones that are very thick and overlap, they're gonna get kind of mushy. See how much the satin stitching is overlapping the satin stitching? Just because you don't think it's gonna look good, you might as well stitch it out, you have nothing to lose. But you might find that you like it and some might not be to your liking. But I was finding those stitches that are the in the sideways moving stitches, like the 500s. I believe it was 513 is what you saw on that block earlier. And you can just go in and have some fun with that. So if you can pick, oh yeah, totally could have some fun. Look at all those great, great stitch options. Okay, oh, I think I even did, that's one. I totally forgot that's the one I did. That's the one that you see right here. I kind of did more of a pink and orange. I was kind of taking the colors from this particular braid that I was doing. And then also the twin needle that you see in with that particular stitch also. So just have some fun. Oh my gosh, look at those fun colors. I'm, I'm inspired even today as I look back on this quilt that I made. I spent so much time and I enjoyed every block. And we filmed that block. Those are those um, 25 different sewing techniques and 18 different presser feet that we have in the Bernina Stitching Cosmos for you. So I want to take you next into how to thread up this machine, how to get prepared for sewing with a twin needle. If you need to, put your second spool of thread on a thread stand beside your machine. For today, I am going to just put my spool on the vertical spool pin that I have flipped up. Now, my first thread that I have in the machine, I still actually have it threaded and I need to unthread it and I'll show you why. As we go to uh, thread this machine, the tension area is what I wanna show you, and that's right up here. Take the two threads in your hand together, come underneath the first guide together. Now, separate them. You can see, and I'm standing up myself right here, there is a small fin right here that you are going to separate the threads on. So on one side, you're gonna put the thread down and let's see here, I'm trying to get that to kind of manually come down. That went down on the right side of the fin. This one's going down on the left. Now I kind of gently put those threads in there. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm going to hold at the beginning and the end of these threads. And I'm going to make sure that they are nice and deep. See me kind of flossing the threads, pull down or even go underneath that lower area and then floss. That makes sure that those threads go all the way in. So what's the benefit of that particular area? Um, the discs that close on the thread normally. Um, there's actually two of them. That separator allows each of those threads to get equal tension while you're using the twin needle. So it doesn't matter which of the two threads goes on which side. And it also doesn't matter when I get down to my needle, which thread goes in which needle. The only thing that is kind of a uh, you gotta be aware of is your needle threader is not going to work because there's no needle in the center. The needles are now off to each side. So as you get down here, you're going to thread each needle by itself. And again, doesn't matter which thread goes in which hole. 
I am a fan of first just trying out a straight stitch at a kind of a nice slow speed. You'll tell right away if you have threaded your machine correctly or not. Um, if it's sewing, you have. Now I'm going to pick one of those uh, decorative stitches. Remember the one that was the uh, kind of honeycomb stitch and just let it start to sew. And just so much fun to watch how those stitches are being created and the possibilities are really endless. I mean, look at all the stitches we were playing with earlier from the tapering stitches to even the decorative stitches with just the variegated thread. Now we've added the element of a solid pink color. Um, so I am going to make sure my needles are up before I twist this to you, but look how fun that is. Oh my gosh. And if you didn't already notice, there are, uh, there's a, an option for actually a um, let's see here, a triple needle on this particular machine. So if you can have some fun with a double needle or twin needle, can you imagine how much fun you would have with a triple needle? So you thread it very similar. Two threads are gonna have to share a tension area, um, but you could definitely uh, pick your threads accordingly. I just decided to do some of the um, bigger stitches here, more of the, uh, here we go, Ta -da. and oh yeah, how fun is that? You can have some fun, all the color combinations, so endless, but I hope if this is inspiring to you, you are going to love checking out the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. Remember, there's links below this YouTube video and a link where you can watch 10 of those videos for free and see what it's all about. So have some fun, maybe stitch out some of those decorative stitches with a twin needle and add them to your stitch book.